Subhanallah, he's doing sport on the beach yeah, and the Ummah is destroyed. We, we don't, Did you we get don't, it? No, we're not like that. We don't believe like that. Because that, that seems funny and we don't see Imam, uh, Imam Mahdi like that. We believe that the idea of Imam Mahdi al Islam is to give us an understanding of how we should be before he comes. So for example... Did he give us? No, but that's the thing. And, and they, say, they say as well, part of, the, part of the things, they said that the Mahdi will not come until there is a lot of corruption, a lot of corruption happens on earth. What's more corruption that we have more than what we have now? There's more corruption going to happen. Subhanallah. I think doors yeah, are open to me. My, listen to me. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to tell you. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. So that's why, if we and before all of that, we were talking about initially. We were talking about where is the Imam is in the Quran. We find no evidence to the Imam of the Quran in the Quran as a core belief in Islam, as something we must believe. Otherwise, I will be, I will be, uh, I will be perished in hell. If I don't believe in Imam, where is this in the Quran? Allah told me in the Quran, "Aman al-Rasul bima unzil ilayhi min Rabbihi wal Mu'minun." كلن آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله. Yeah, Allah Azza wa Jalla said in the Quran that the Rasul, yeah, and the believers they believe in Allah and the angels and the books and the Messenger of Allah and we have no distinct, we didn't distinguish between the prophets of Allah. All of them for in our side they are, they are the same. Yeah, in terms of belief and as well Allah told us as well in the Quran as well to believe in the last day, yeah, and to believe in the ghayb, to believe in the unseen. Where is the Imam there? So if Allah is telling us about the etiquette, how to go to toilet, Allah is telling us things, subhanAllah, Allah is telling us even when you come to the house from the etiquette and the manners to knock on the door and to give kind of introduction. Even, even Allah told us in the Quran to give introduction to yourself when you have intimacy with your wife. Allah, Allah forget to tell us about the Imam, which is something important. So that's why I wanted you and all, and all the Shias to, to, to think about this. Open your mind. Maybe there is something right that the Sunnis are saying. Maybe, the, maybe there is a misunderstanding. And that's why it is for you now. And that's why it doesn't... Yani when you are, and, and by the way, one day, uh, one day we were giving da'wah. And one of the Shia, he was, he was sometimes used to come with us. And he was, we were kind of uh, influencing him in a good way. And then he said, he said to me, Subhanallah, if I wanted to call someone to Islam, uh, he said, while I was observing you, he said, you know, it's simple. Believe in Allah. Believe in that Allah has sent. He has been sent. Allah has 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 angels, and He sent books, and He sent Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He said, "Straightforward, La ilaha illallah, Rasulullah." He said, "If I wanted to educate him about, I wanted him to be a proper Shia practicing person. You have to believe in. You have to believe in Allah. Believe in the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Angels are. And you have to believe in Imam. You have to believe in Ali. You have to believe in Hassan and Hussein. And Subhanallah. He said, just only to introduce this to the person, it's already lost." So that's why, my brothers, consider there is some. There might be something that you, you misunderstood. Yeah, maybe just for you, and read the other side. Read and educate yourself. It is your chance. You, we, we live once at the end of the day, and do not think we hate the family of the Prophet Sallallahu Wallah, we love the family of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam more than our family. More than our family. Because you know what happened to them, right? You know what happened to the family. Of course, yeah, we know. This is why we're here because not many people know. You are, you are here. For the, we, we know. We know Al Hussein radiAllahu. He was killed, oppressed. He was oppressed and he was killed unlawfully. Yes. We have. There is no. We, we as Sunnis, we don't uh, like that, we do not... Uh, of course we don't like that. But then why do you come we, with us? We, we, we come with us, do you know why? I will tell you why. What is, the, what is the point? What is the point? What is the point? Why? Okay, so you guys love the Alibi the, the way we do. And you agree what happened to them was bad. Is, is expressing love... Okay, one second. Is how we express the love to Ahl Bayt? Yeah, how, how, how? 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 How, how, who is more important than Ahl Bayt? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We don't celebrate his death. We don't say oh, he died on this day and we keep celebrating. We don't do this. He didn't teach us to do that. Wallah, if the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us to do we'll do it. If he taught us to celebrate his birthday, Wallah, we'll celebrate. Wallah, we'll make the biggest cake for him. Wallah, 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 but he didn't tell us. Wallah, he didn't teach us. He taught us to follow him, Alayhi Salatu Salam. He never celebrated his birthday. He never told us, by the way, you you agree that the prophets of Allah are more important than the the the, the wali, yeah? One hundred percent. Good, alhamdulillah. Which is a new thing. That's good for you. That's good, yani, uh, progress. Yahya alayhi salam was brutally killed more than Al Hussein. Yahya alayhi salam. Do you know how he was killed? 
the leader of that of that of his type. He killed him and he brought his head on a plate to a prostitute. It was it was a gift for the prostitute. A prostitute. His head was placed on a plate and it was given to a prostitute. Why the Prophet didn't pro celebrate his and he cried for the day of the killing of Yahya alayhi salam? Why he didn't do that? Because we know these are days, my brothers. These are days. Every day something happened. And we shouldn't just only live in the past. We should follow their legacy. Hussein radiallahu he died for a, for a legacy. He wanted to, 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 to educate the people that he wanted Islam to be saved. Yes. And he wanted Islam to be to, fo to follow the Prophet sallallahu Even though, and, and as well, he was, he was betrayed by his own followers first. Yeah. So that's why, and the other, the other important thing, he never appointed someone to be after him. He never said, okay, you know what? The wilaya is gonna be in this son or that son. Or why why not the, the sons of Al Hussein, Al Hassan? All these things, he never claimed these things. You don't have any source that Al Hussein, he claimed. They were oppressed, man. Because even if they did say it, it's not as if the people around him would have him. Akhi, the Prophet he was oppressed in Mecca, but he said, I'm Prophet of Allah. People, they torture him, they threaten him to kill. If it's something, again, if it's something important, he cannot, go, he cannot hide it. If it's something Allah commanded him, Allah told us, Allah told the Prophet in the Quran, Fasda bima tu'mar, meaning go and shout what you are commanded. Go, speak to, speak out about what you are commanded. About what you are commanded with. And the Prophet, he did, alayhi salatu wasalam. He didn't, and Allah has told him in the Quran, many places, look at this. Allah told us, told the Prophet in the Quran, Ya ayuhal muddathir, qum fa'amdhir. O muddathir, who is the one who is covering? Stand up and warn. Why Allah is commanding? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam to stand and warn the people. Yeah. So it is there. If that's why we say it is not something. If it's not something that they believe, it is something they need to to claim for them that they, I am appointed by Allah Azza wa He never claimed this. As, you know, just to summarize everything. Yeah. My main thing is, you know what? Because I I grew up in a, in a mixed Sunni and a Shia kind of uh, right. Yeah. And luckily, alhamdulillah, we've never had any kind of conflict as in like, um, we are, the one thing that brings us together yeah. is the similarities that we have. Because, yeah, we have differences in our uh, ideology and theology, but the main thing that I can get along with you, Lord, because the pinnacles of Islam, the principle of Islam, we share. Okay? It's just the ideology or the way Brother, we... That's the main thing. My brother, I mean, ideology is the main thing in Islam. Ideology, the aqidah of Islam, that's the main thing. Otherwise, 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 what's Islam? Islam is about... Islam is about Tawheed and Aqidah. Islam mainly is about this. If you if you just ignore this fact, then, then what's left in Islam? What, yani, towards praying towards Mecca? Akhi yeah. Alawis, they sometimes they pray towards yeah, Mecca. Who cares about them? Who cares? about if they, if they pray or not yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. or those qadianis or those ones who claim to be ahmed those ones they pray towards Mecca. so what yeah, do you think they're, they're going to be our brothers or something no Sunnis and shias have more similarities than the other 73 sects well, i don't know i don't know, I, don't know. Like, I mean how many sects are there in which sense? by the way 70 something yeah, 73 sects i would with all my respect the shia they're not included why not why not not me. Because, no, you said. Because, because you know what? Do you know what? I saw you as a Muslim, as an individual. Maybe of, as an individual. If you don't believe, if you don't believe in the main thing of the Shia, what they do. But in the main thing with the with the Shia, the core belief of the Shia is, is, is literally opposite to Islam. Is it better than Qadianis, for example? They believe the that there's that. another person who's a prophet. And, the, and, and we don't believe that. So but that they, be, they believe that. Let me tell you. Maybe again, you are not educated about many things of the Shia. Maybe you are not. But I'm, I'm, I'm I will tell you. For example, they. Believe believe that there is an aspect of wahi of revelation comes to Ali. Do you understand? Meaning, he's about to agree. No, 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 hear me out. Please, please. Imam Ali, I see as a very unique, special kind of, indi like an individual. Honestly speaking, the, when I study Imam Ali and his life and his biography, I, I'm inspired. Honestly speaking, I'm not divine like God divine, no, no, no. Not, nothing like that, separate. But was, he, was, he, was he divinely inspired? Divinely inspired, honestly, with what simple. I've been reading. Very God, simple. God communicated with him. No, no, was he, you know, let me, let, let, rather than... Let's break it down a bit. Was he divinely inspired? 
Was he like Khadr? No, no, Khadr. Musa? For example, Khadr is the Prophet, by the way. Is he a Prophet? Yes. Because I didn't know, because that's not mentioned in the Quran, that he's a Prophet. No, Allah said. A slave of mine. Yeah, and and Musa was a slave of Allah, and Allah said to the Prophet, was a slave of him. But the Prophet is not you. No, no, what we know, we need to understand that to distinguish between Prophet. Prophet who get prophecy from Allah Azza Allah said in the Quran, وَأَتَيْنَاهُمْ إِلَّا دُنَّا عِلْمًا We give him knowledge from ourselves. Anyone who gives knowledge by Allah Azza is a prophet. Okay, good point. Il only belongs to Allah, and Allah gives ilm to his slave, uh, prophets. People, prophets and people, right? No, prophets. Prophets, yeah. The inspiring ilm is to the prophets. And, Imam, and, the, most and the messengers who convey this message to the disbeliever. Okay, now Imam Ali -Islam, at that time, would you agree that he had knowledge? Of course, no doubt. A lot of knowledge? Of course, no doubt. And where did that knowledge come from? From the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he learned it. And that Prophet, that, because Allah gave him that information, yeah. our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave that prof, um, information data to Imam Ali Alayhi Wasallam. Okay, no problem. Agree? Agreed. So if you're talking about and that he gave it, and he gave it, and he gave it, and he gave it to Abu Bakr, and give it to Umar, and no give it to no Uthman, no and give, no it, no give it to many of them. Oh, yeah. And and as well, so that's why we, we don't doubt that Ali was a faqih, was someone who is have the understanding of Islam, he was a scholar, in Islam, he, had he has ilm. No, no, we have no problem. Yeah. But to say, but to say, he is inspired. He is divinely inspired. Meaning that that if he wanted to say something, everything that he said is from Allah Azza That's where I will say, you know what? Hold on a second. We say the same thing. If I wish you say. But then in that case, why you take the saying of Muhammad al baqir over than the saying of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Uh, we, we, no, if you claim the same, yeah. how, how, how dare you? We can't, we can't. You take the saying of Muhammad al Baqir over than the saying of the Prophet. No, Prophet, has a higher, Prophet has much higher status than. than uh, I will kill you. I will kill you, for example. Yani, uh, uh, Muhammad al Baqir said, for example, one of, they claim he said this, and I, I doubt he will never say such thing. They said, yeah? They said the, uh, uh, the taqiyya. Is my religion and the religion of my, my forefathers? I don't know. I don't know about that, to be honest. It's just because the Kia is basically. Wait, inshallah, just five minutes. You know the Takia subject here. Yeah? You see, you see, that's why we say. Which means, listen, that the person could do something to protect himself. But to say this statement, which is opposite to the saying of the Prophet I will say to you, hold on a second. No, no that's silly. that it can't be. No, no, no. So I that's why I will say to you, I will say to you, yeah. and, and many, many other things. So that's why when I say to you, so since the Ahl al-Bayt, according to you, yeah. or the family, or those ones, the Imams, they are not divinely inspired, yeah, the 11 Imams, they're not divine. We, we, by the way, I will tell you something, I will add your information. For me, Muhammad al-Baqir is the greatest scholar of Islam. Okay. And I believe the Sunni, yeah, and that's something which is, which is, I will say to the Sunni, uh, uh, community, yeah. The Sunni, they should take care of the work of Imam Muhammad al Baqir, rahimahullah. He was a great scholar, and he did a lot of great efforts. And if, if the problem of, of the situation of the Shiism and all of this, otherwise he will have his own madhab, Muhammad al Baqir, because he was a great scholar, was a great alim, alim that, subhanallah. That's why he was called Baqir because he was literally, literally he brought the alim, Baqir al alim Baqir, and he was a great scholar. No, we have no problem with this. But to say he was d divinely inspired, meaning that's what, that's the infallibility. When you say he's, they are infallible, because which means they are divinely inspired, meaning they don't make mistakes. Everything that they say is from Allah. There is that. Uh, then, did you, do you believe they make mistakes? Al Bayt? Individuals, yes, they make mistakes. So, it happened. It happened. I will give you one mistake. Yeah. Fatima, is it infallible or not according to you? Yeah, I believe she is. I okay. believe she is infallible. Okay. Okay. Let, me, let me touch the core point of Fadak. Fadak land. Okay, Fadak. Okay, Bari Fadak. Okay. So, Fatima, she came to claim Fadak from Abu Bakr, yes? Yes? Abu Bakr, he said to her, do you know what Abu Bakr responded to her? It, well, he didn't give it to her. Why? Do you know why? Because he said it was more like a political thing where this belongs, this land belongs to... I don't know too much of his history, yeah, that, but... That, 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 that was promised by the Prophet too far. Too far. Too far. No, okay, no, okay, I'll okay. we'll come, we'll come to the prophet. point. And Rasul sallallahu gifted that to baby Fatima, Okay, right? let, let, me, yes. let me answer you. Fatima radiallahu anha, yeah, she came to claim Fadak after the death of the Prophet sallallahu Okay. Yeah? yeah. 
One second. That was Fatima. She passed away after the Prophet some six months. Yani, the Prophet he died, and then Aisha radiallahu anha she was there. She came with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and then the Prophet he whispered in his in her ear. She cried, and then the Prophet he whispered in her ear again. Then she smiled. After that, she asked her, Aisha asked her, why did you cry? He said he, that the Prophet told me, the Prophet of Allah, he told me that I will die in my, this is my deathbed, I will die in this, in this, with this illness. And then I cried. And then he whispered in my, he said, you will be the first of my family to follow me. Then she laughed and she smiled. So she died six months after the, the Prophet During the time of Abu Bakr. Yeah. No. Okay. No, no. Let's finish. So, so she went to claim her land from Abu Bakr, which means she accepts Abu Bakr decision in a way that he decides things. Otherwise, she doesn't need to do that. So then, the, the other, the other important thing. You are claiming that, and we believe that he went, she went to Abu Bakr to, to ask for the land. Yeah. My question is to you. Yeah. My question is to you. Is the person who inherits, the person who inherits, is he entitled to claim the whole inheritance from his father? If my father left me something and uh, is inherited to me, can I claim that? No. Why can I not claim Because that? the Prophet ﷺ, he said, there is no will for the inheritance. You can, the father cannot give you something and, and, and didn't give it to the others. Okay. You Your know, father has no right, Islamically, has no right to give you something, yeah, after his death. He will say, my will, in my death, this thing to be given to the such and such. He has no right to do it because he has other inheritors. So she has no right to ask where there are other inheritors. Who are, are the other inheritors? We don't see that as a mistake, though. That's I will not tell a mistake. You. I will tell you. That is, will not, listen, what do, you, what do you define by mistake? Like you, the word infallible means someone who doesn't make sense. Okay. Yeah. Allah purified the Ahlul Bayt. He purified them, right? Okay. Okay. Which Ahlul Bayt? Those the five. Five. If you want to, that's what. Not Muhammad al Baqir, not the other one. But he purified Imam Ali alayhi salam. Bibi Fatma. Purified from shirk, my brother. From shirk. That that's the meaning. When Allah said, "Tahirukum tahir," meaning from shirk. Yeah. And Allah said, "I will purify Mecca from shirk and other things." So the, the meaning of purification again means that they are they will be not doing any shirk, and that's 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 there's no issue with this. So my my point is, listen to this, yeah, listen and try to understand. There are important things for us to. When Fatma claims something which is not of her right alone, that is not right, because there are other people who are literally with her. Meaning, meaning, she has she didn't say to Abu Bakr that the Prophet he gave it to me. The Prophet didn't give it to her. She claimed the land, yeah, which is. There is no evidence even with her to say that the Prophet he told me to take the land. What Abu Bakr did, he said that the Prophet وسلم, he said, we prophets of Allah, we don't give anything for inheritance. Whatever left from us, is going to be charity. But I will deal with this land according to what the Prophet was doing. He was spending all the outcome of the land to who? To Ahlul Bayt, to the to the wives of the Prophet وسلم, all of them, including Fatima, including her husband Ali, including Al Abbas, the uncle of the Prophet وسلم, including the other and Aqil and other cousins of the Prophet وسلم. So they were taking from the land, from the inheritance. Umar did the same when Uthman, during Uthman time, he gave the land to Ali and Abbas dealing with it, and, and Abdullah ibn Abbas. He said, "You deal with it." So the point is, the land went back to Ahl Bayt to deal with it. Did they go to Marwan? Did the father, father eventually go to Marwan? I don't know. I seriously don't know. Because if it went to Marwan and not to Bibi Fatima... Wallah, I don't know. Wallah, I don't know. Okay, Listen, if it was taken by Marwan, it's not fair. If it, uh, but I don't know. Because Bibi Fatima should have deserved it if he was going to give it to Marwan. I don't know. I don't know if, if, if Marwan took it. But Marwan came later on. I'm talking about that time. So that's why, my brother, again, I, w I will advise you. Yeah, read, read more, more. Read more. about read Islam. And, open, and be open to accept the truth. Truth. And as we'll free yourself from me and you, we should free ourselves because we were brought up in something. But when the truth comes, we have to follow the truth, my brother. Yeah? So that's my advice to you. Yeah? No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. All right. Take care. Take care. And inshallah, that's, uh, that's kind of a conclusion for everyone, inshallah.
we had a very interesting discussion uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with uh, some of the Shias here. Alhamdulillah, we came to certain good, good points, inshallah. I ask Allah Azzal for them to guide them and to guide us all, and I ask Allah Azzal to bring them back to the truth. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. brother, you have anything to say? He in the Quran, it talks about Isa first being celebrated, right? Speak as God, not here. He'll be on what you on the day Jesus he was born, the day he will die, and the day he will be raised. Okay, well, salam alayhi. That's celebrating. Well, salam alayhi. Peace be upon you. So, oh yeah. Peace, but this is not celebration. It is. No. So peace of the day that you die, peace of when you are being resurrected. It's a day of honor. Why Allah didn't tell us about that day? He did, in the Quran. Where is it? When, when is the day? In the verse, right? When is the day of Isa born? Jesus, Not Christmas, forget Christmas. Okay, then what is it? The it was in summer, somewhere, Jesus sometime in summer. Not in winter, definitely. It's still a day to be recognized. Where, when? When is this day? If it's, if it's a day to be recognized, why Allah didn't tell us about it? If it's something important, that's like it's the same thing. If it's something important, Allah will tell us to celebrate it. The Prophet Muhammad's birth, do you celebrate that? No? no. Why? We don't do that. He didn't celebrate. Why? He didn't celebrate. But the Quran says celebrate. He didn't celebrate. You understand? Who practices Islam better, you or Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? I'm asking you, who celebrate? Who practices Islam better, you or the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? I'm asking you. That's a crazy question. No, who practices Islam, you or the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Simple. Okay. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam definitely. Yeah, yeah. And if it's something important, why he didn't tell us to celebrate it? The Quran did. I'm telling you. The Quran didn't say the, the birth of the Prophet to celebrate it. Allah said about Salam on Isa alayhi salam wa salam on alayhi mulitu wa mulitu wa mulitu wa Isa is saying, the peace be upon me when I was born and when I die and when I be resurrected. Yeah. So here, so, so when is the day? If, if it's important, Allah will inform us about that day. Then we'll all celebrate it. But Allah did not inform us about it. So because of that, you don't celebrate it? Not because of that, because firstly, firstly, that's not a, a sign of celebration. That's a sign that Allah is sending blessing. That the day that this person was the... You know, well, let me tell you something. There is difference between the day when a person born and, it, and the number of the day when it comes every year. That's totally different thing. Yeah, and the Prophet said he was born on a certain day. That day is blessed because the Prophet was born. But we don't need to every every year, the number of that day we have to celebrate to do something about it. You see the difference? It's not a celebration. It's a when Allah indicates about a day, it means a day, not days. It is a day that he was born. Of course, the day when, when, when Isa al was born was a day of peace that Allah has sent the Prophet and Messenger. The same thing when Muhammad sallallahu alaihi was born is a blessed day that Allah has blessed this 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 world with the with the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But the number of that day, if it comes every year, there is nothing to say to indicate we should celebrate it. That's why the Prophet sallallahu alaihi he never celebrates his own birthday, and he didn't teach us. He told us to celebrate his birthday in a way. You know what he did? He said, "I was born on Monday." He said, I fast the Monday because that's this is the day I was born. So the way that you, if you love the Prophet Sallallahu we fast every Monday. Every Monday you fast it for the sake of Allah Adal, following the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi because he was born on Monday. Yeah, but not the, according to some people, 12 Rabi Al Awwal or I don't know, some other days. It's not there. In a minute. Yeah. Is that clear? So the same thing, Al Hassan Al Hussein and all of them, the same thing. The same thing. They were born, and uh, and there is nothing indication that the Prophet told the people to celebrate the day that they are born or anything of that. What else did you say? You said something about the Mahdi. He's not. He's not born, right? Yeah, he is born. I'm asking. Was he born? I'm asking you. Sir. No, we don't believe he was born. But what's his purpose? What, what's he even if he is born, if he's born, it's information for us. It's information. It's, we don't believe in him. We believe about him that he will be, he will be, you know, he will be born and he will be leading the Muslims at certain point. Then Isa alayhi salam will take over. That's what we know. It's information. But to believe in him, that's something else. You know, well, for can, example, can he be born? Can he be born already and live with, as you said before, hidden? He's hidden. Like, where is he hiding on the beach? What does that mean? No, someone, because someone, he was, they said he was hiding. Yeah. And one of the people, he said one day he was in the morning okay. doing the sport. He saw Mahdi doing the sport on the beach. One of the people, he said this. He was serious, talking on TV. He's, he's talking on TV. He said, oh, I was, I was, I saw him, you know, doing sport on the beach. 
You understand? So I, be, I said he left all this ummah, and then he is not doing nothing. So. But do you believe that? No, that he was born. No, yeah. Do you believe he was born, and do you believe he's on no. the beach playing football? No, no. I'm saying this is silly thing. People they say silly things. Where do they get this from? I don't believe he was born. Yeah, and I don't believe. I don't be believe. Born? Can he be born and be hidden? Allah is able to do many things, but now here. But but uh, but there is nothing indication for me to believe in this. But can he, like, theoretically, can he be born? Look, Allah Azza has made a lot of miracles. Yeah, Allah Azza has made Ahlul Kahf to live for 300 years in a cave. No, 